sometimes there are uh, decisions that are fine lines, but I think you know when you when you're uh, fighting for every point like we are, you know you have to try and grab onto anything that you can, and uh, you know momentum momentum always changes with goals. You know that, so I'm very disappointed that that we couldn't um, get at least one of those decisions. Of the application of the players yeah, I, I, I think they did well again, and I know you're going to probably start saying that I'm saying it every week. But I mean, I think if you're the football person, you'll see that the players did apply themselves very well. Um, and I just think that when you're playing top teams or any team in the Premier League, you know, you need that little bit of um, fortune at times just to go your way and I think that when you're playing teams like Arsenal's and Tottenham's you know they do have that little bit of quality that even if they're not playing well they might pull something out of the bag. Chris you said in your, you said in your program that you can't keep um, saying that we're unlucky. You can't keep, yeah, yeah, unlucky. Yeah you're right. And even though you were unlucky up to a point with those decisions mm -hmm. you must also be disappointed about some of the defensive shortcomings I guess that we're today. Um, well, I mean, you're always disappointed when a goal goes in because cause you can always break it down and analyse it to its, its finest points. Um, and I think the players who you know involved would always be disappointed when when a goal goes in. I mean, you probably don't want to necessarily talk about opposing players, but Harry Kane is going to get all the headlines tomorrow. And you worked with him, didn't you? At, uh, yeah, but I mean, he he worked with him. he 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 um, he's polished himself, hasn't he? You know, he's been he's he's worked hard enough to get where he where he's at. A lot of people worked with him. I was just fortunate to be one of the people that worked with him. Uh, but you know, he he's he's done well himself. You know, um, but that's not really my my focus at the moment. Now, no. it's more about um, how we can regroup and get ourselves back to um, trying to win a game at least to get ourselves some more um, confidence and get the morale up a little bit. So would you pick him for England? Would I pick him for England? Yeah, yeah I'd pick him for England. If, if it was me, I'd pick him. But, you know, the way I'm going now, I'm unlikely to be in that position. He'll be paying for, I'll, I'll be picking him for the Cubs soon if I don't start winning. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Some of the crowd uh, got on Rio Ferdinand's back a bit there after the second goal. I don't know if they heard that. Do you think that's fair or what's the um, I think, it's, I think Rio's applied himself well. I was very pleased with the way he played. I mean, and I think that obviously when you're um, in the position we're in and the goals go in, there's, there's always going to be people that, that get the blame. Or people that people that um, look at more than others, you know. And you know, for Rio to be at the age he is and playing in, at this level and, and applying himself in training and applying himself in the games, um, I, I think we need to really just keep encouraging him to do what he's doing.